This is an external microphone to be used with iPhones. Uh, it's by Edutige. And the bundle that I got for this for my iPhone 6 Plus was the EIM-003 with the ESL-002, a fuzzy mic cover, all for around $108. I got it in September of 2015. It's now the first week of January in 2016. I've been doing some testing, and I have a couple video audio clips that I'm going to play, give my summation at the end of uh, the last video clip of, of this. I wouldn't call it a review, I would call it more of a, of a demo. Hopefully it provides you some insight into what this thing microphone sounds like as compared to the base iPhone 6 Plus uh, internal microphone and playback sound like. First up, I have to say the company is a is, uh, high quality company, good customer service. Uh, the first order that I ordered for my iPhone 6 actually came back as uh, the bundle that's used for GoPro uh, uh, camera, which doesn't work at all. So they were real cordial and swift and fast in, in replacing the microphone with the one that works actually for the Apple iOS system. Uh, so I've got nothing but praise to give to the company for it. It's customer service. Hi, right, this is just a quick demo of the iOS microphone by Edutige. It's an external analog microphone. And just wanted to share with you what uh, what I listened to and what I heard when I did the recording. So hopefully you'll enjoy the demo. Okay, that's the TV on. I'm wearing a lapel microphone right here. I'm going to turn the TV off now. Now I'm going to talk with the lapel microphone tied to my shirt and I want to see if the volume increases or decreases when I unplug this external microphone. I'm going to unplug it right now. Okay, I've unplugged the microphone, the external microphone with the lapel. So that's turned off, and I just want to see what the volume is. Change, if it does change, if it doesn't change, whatever the case may be, I'm just testing it. Okay. Test two. Uh, just played back test one, and the volume is actually louder with this unplugged. This is the external microphone. It's got it gives you a lower volume. Now I'm not sure about the clarity. So I'm gonna plug in this guy. Okay, now the external lapel microphone is is plugged in. And I'm listening to the volume of my voice, but I want to know if the audio I can always turn the volume up, but what about the quality of the sound? So right now uh, I'm in the lapel, and I'm going to unhook the external microphone. Three, two, one. Now the external microphone is unhooked, and I'm talking. I know the volume is louder this time, but I'm not sure about the quality of the audio. This is just my opinion. I think the iPhone built-in microphone uh, sounds better and the volume is up higher than this lapel thing that cost me like $109.
That's why I'm kind of nervous on spending $150 for a Sure uh, MV88 digital. This is analog. So it goes into the earphone, headphone uh, part of the iPhone. The Sure uses a digital. I just boxed up this microphone, put it on my shelf in this little card that I put inside the packaging. And this mic is for the iPhone. Uh, retested it today. The results are the iPhone mic is better sounding and louder than uh, this microphone. That's my humble opinion. So I will look onward for other external microphones. This was an analog microphone. I think I'm going to test a digital microphone. I'm looking at the, the Shure, I think it's MV88. It's a little more pricier than this, this phone. This Shure MV88 OIS digital stereo condenser microphone for the iPhone is what I'm looking at as a purchase. It's a little pricey. This is as of January 2016. It's $150 through Amazon. I think I will purchase that and we'll give that a test and, and also put that up here on, on uh, as a demo.